Have you seen Rav's cat of it? No. Is Rav actually playing WoW? Attention gamers. Long oh God. Ago, a young dwarf looking for an escape would fight butt naked Makgoras and together with his loyal pig, they conquered elements that others feared. Driven to avenge the deaths of his people, he was forced to overcome his own and deliver refuge. And Rav the Avatar lived a simpler life fishing in, in a cataclysmic event. A douche canoe dragon named Deathwing took a molten piss over the lands he knew and loved. He visited his past, seeing that cities were destroyed and the old flood flourishing harbors were left looking like Dubai. He studied the ways of archaeology in hopes of reconstructing what was lost. And this guy's actually playing World of Warcraft. fossils of the world he grew up in. But in these perilous times, he knew deep down that it was now his duty to avenge all of Azeroth. Okay, so my mission to avenge Azeroth starts with a request from my homeboy, the king who is like dog. I need to call in a celeb shot to handle some rumors overseas about a war breaking out. So I head over to the harbor where me and a wow is back amount of people are lined up to serve. Our carnival cruise arrives okay. and I'm pumped, but how are captain and he can ask him any questions he wants to calm his nerves. But history is set to repeat itself as Howard is all knowing as this particular river casino runs into a little Bermuda Triangle action which has people panicking and jumping ship as this is starting to look like a scene out of the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie as our warship is now a chew toy for Polly Wally Octopus over here. To make matters worse me pre-gaming this with 4 Rhapsody malts wasn't optimal so I pass out only to learn that they've set up some civilization down here and some Davy Jones looking dude is running a business installing gills on people. He tells me if I can fend off enough sweaty Coldridge midgets to collect some starfish he will turn me amphibious AF and with that I was now Rav the Aqua Avatar. That said it's 2024 Surprised you decided to level him to sheer first. Figure, even 60 meters underwater you need to constantly worry about your image so my PR team is like you need to save some drowning soldiers for that good publicity but the only problem with this plan was that if there was a graph of people who needed saved from drowning and people who wanted to say they saved a drowning person, the ratio would be f so I did what any good leader does. I set up a pyramid scheme to do my good deeds for me and with the world thinking I'm a savior, I was ready to fight in the war. That'll do Until it. I got knocked in round one by some lispy slither tits who just couldn't wait to show me off to his lady only for me to have to be bailed out a second time before that Rhapsody malt buzz wore off and I vowed to take this more seriously. I learned to become one with the wildlife down here, nurturing them and tending to their every need. I even studied to get my license as an underwater uber with the hopes of making my new submerged situation feel slightly less shitty. This world was now my oyster and the oysters in my world seemed to have clamped down on none other than Captain Samir. Howard had some choice words for him but we freed him and got his posse back to dry land to which his first request was for This is actually as far camp. as I got in the game. I told him that coming off of a bender myself I, I didn't know if that's a good idea but I could tell by the look in his face that he could give two shits right about now so I did as asked and we celebrated. Days later I ran into some Jamaican of the Thrall Simp faction who in exchange for petting Howard agreed to tell me why that Naga was so pissed off at me. I learned that these Naga joined forces with some Twilight cultist clan of low parsing pigs who were in bed with Deathwing and they were the boots on the ground. He said speak to any crabsman gold to see just how grim it's become. I will not be a tool of the Naga. I will resist as long as I can, but I can't last forever. Please someone, stop them. And I started noticing fuck? myself that I couldn't even do my own errands without one of these weaponized lizards trying to piss on my parade. There's a whole backstory of how I committed to some RPing cosplay that I'm not proud of to learn more about where these Deathwing Twilight twats can be found but once I got what I needed it was like Naga. More like Naga to stay in this zone for a second longer than I needed to as people were starting to get weird down here. You like Krabby Patties, don't you Squidward? So the second I saw my chance to get out, What's a boat? I desk popped so many SOS's in the sky you'd think it was a 4th of July fireworks display until they sent me some sus carbon Damn. fiber looking rescue he boat He went that into I that zone with 23,000 health and he walked out with 36,000 Being controlled by a PlayStation controller and with that my journey in Bash Jeer was over 
I returned home one step closer to finding Deathwing and my next steps would either be to visit the dragon's hometown of Deep Home or to deal with the shit going on in High Jaw. Okay, so this is just him leveling, basically. Okay.